Hello everyone and welcome to our collection of product feature tutorial videos. Today, we'll dive into the powerful functionalities of ControlNet on TensorArt. Unlike stable diffusion, which requires you to add and deploy ControlNet manually, setting up various complex parameters, using ControlNet on TensorArt is incredibly simple and quick. Of course, users can adjust day and dark mode according to their own preferences. Just click, select, upload your image, and you're ready to go with simplified parameter settings. In this video series, we've compiled some of the most common and effective control net tutorials into a collection. Let's not hesitate any longer, let's get started. ControlNet allows for control of generated images through line draft, action recognition, depth information, and more. On TensorArt, you can easily and conveniently use ControlNet in a few steps. Click on the A Workspace button and set your parameters according to our previous video. Firstly, click on the A ControlNet button to enable this feature. Next, click on a model and select the corresponding model according to your needs. Then click or drag a file to a image area to upload original or control image. Adjust the influence of control net in a weight. Select the preprocessor you need to process the input image. You can use the a reference provided by TensorArt. Finally, click the a generate button to generate an image. Just now we explored the wonderful applications of workspace. Now let's turn our attention to the next feature control net open pose. Are you interested in generating character images with precise movements, expressions, and even finger gestures? With ControlNet, we can access a range of control functions that allow the characters to follow your every command. ControlNet Open Pose empowers creators to achieve more conscious and specific outcomes when generating images that involve human subjects. First, let's familiarize ourselves with the various Open Pose preprocessors. Open Pose is suitable for copying human poses while excluding other details like outfits, hairstyles, and backgrounds. Open Pose Face is useful for copying facial expressions along with the body pose. Open Pose Hand is beneficial for copying hand poses along with the body posture. Open Pose Face Only is helpful for copying only the face without including other body key points. Open Pose Full combines all the key points detected by Open Pose, including facial details and hands or fingers. Now that we have a clear understanding of the preprocessor, let's generate images. Upload your image to the ControlNet Image section. Select an image of your choice, and TensorArt will process it for you. Alternatively, you can upload a preprocessed image directly. In case you don't have any images, you can explore the materials provided by TensorArt in the reference section below. Once everything is set up, you can click to generate images. Moving forward, our next feature is QR code. It opens up new possibilities for you. Let's dive in. Standard QR code may not necessarily generate the inclination to scan it. However, with the integration of illustrations using the ControlNet function by TensorArt, the QR code can now be imbued with enhanced amusement and offer users more engaging interactions. Let's try generating an amazing QR code. Step 1. Select Model. These three models have impressive performance, and we encourage you share others in the comment. Step 2. Enter Prompt. Some prompts blend more naturally because they share similar visual elements. Step 3. Click on Add Control Net to select QR code. The uploaded QR code should meet the following criteria to avoid generating images that cannot be scanned. Step 4. Set Aspect Ratio to Square and Sampling Method to DPM 2M Keras. Click Generate to obtain QR code, make sure to check with different sizes on the screen. The working parameters can be different for different models and prompts. Adjust the following parameters slightly to blend the QR code and the prompt well. You won't get a functional QR code with every single image. The success rate is about 1 in 4. We've already learned about three powerful features. Now let's check out the fourth feature ControlNet Canny, what makes it unique. Let's find out together. ControlNet Canny is a general-purpose, old-school edge detector. 
it extracts the outlines of an image. It's useful for retaining the composition of the original image. Canny provides infinite possibilities for creativity. Generate images with specific features, such as a particular pose, a unique style, or a specific object. Restore historical photographs or damaged images with improved quality. Let's try using TensorArt to apply Canny. Click on Add Control Net to enable Canny. Choose an image for TensorArt to help you pre-process. If your image has a white background and black lines, you should choose preprocessor as invert. There are no recommended values for Canny's control weight and control step. So you can try multiple times to choose the value that produces the best results. Set the aspect ratio of the image, which should have the same ratio as the image you uploaded. After everything is set up, let's generate. Up next, we will explore a very practical feature control net depth. It helps you more easily manage specific scenario. Let's continue on. Control net depth can calculate the distance of each object in an image from the camera and recreate the same positions and distances in the generated images. It can create images with specific features, improve image quality, and greater output control. Through the integration of depth information, control net depth takes image manipulation to the next level. Let's try using depth in TensorArt. Click on Add Control Net to enable a depth. Choose an image for depth preprocess. There are four preprocessors for depth, and you can choose the most suitable one according to your needs. Depth Midas is a classic depth estimator. It's used in the official depth to image model. Depth Lease is commonly used for render background. The processing effect of Zoe is between Midas and Lears. If you're unsure, Midas is undoubtedly the safest option. Set the aspect ratio of the image, which should have the same ratio as the image you uploaded. After everything is set up, let's generate. Now let's shift our focus to Control Net Lineart. This feature provides you with special benefit, unveiling its charm as we explore it together. Line art, in essence, outlines an image, attempting to simplify it into a basic drawing. It can be used to add color to your sketches and even transform architectural styles. Moreover, it performs excellently with photographs, converting them into a cartoon-like style. In tensor art, using line art is straightforward. First, click on Add Control Net to select line art. Then, upload the original image from which you want to extract lines. Next, choose the appropriate preprocessor. Different preprocessors handle original images differently, yielding varying results. Select the one that best suits your needs. Once you've chosen the preprocessor, click Confirm to configure line art settings. One important thing to note is that the generated image should have the same aspect ratio as the original image to avoid distortion. After all settings are in place, click Generate to create your masterpiece. As we delve deeper, the next feature Linear Anime will reveal even more wonders to us. Let's keep exploring. If you're looking to generate images in an Anim style, then Linear Anim would be your top choice. Linard Anim is about rendering the outlines of images in a style typical of Anim, often characterized by clean and simplistic lines. If you already have a draft of your manga, Linard Anim can assist you in coloring or tweaking details, thus enhancing your workflow. For those who might not be adept at drawing but wish to produce manga, with Linard Anim and a simple prompt, you can generate masterful manga pieces. Designers out there, turn to Linert Anim to spark more design inspirations. With just three easy steps, you can quickly utilize Linert Anim on TensorArt. First, we need to pick an Anim style model. Only these models synergize well with Linert Anim. Choosing the Nanit 3D model to create 3D comic is a great choice. It focuses on generating 3D Anim images with a PVC texture reminiscent of Figma, Dolphy, and Nandoroids. Marubix 99 is another good pick, producing 2.5D style images with vibrant colors and a bright appearance. After selecting your model, 
You can also opt for Laura to infuse specific characteristics into your images. For instance, the Shujo manga style will render your image in a style typical of Western comics. But if you're aiming for a Japanese manga style, go for Mangand Manwa. For the second step, click on Add Control Net, select Leonard Anum, and upload your original image. TensorArt will then process it for you. Different preprocessors yield varied effects, so choose the one that suits your needs best. Thirdly, you'll need to set the image ratio to match your original image. This ensures the generated image displays perfectly. For more on Hire's Fix, add a tailor, and choices between model and Laura, you can refer back to our previous videos. Once everything is set, click Generate to behold your masterpiece. Even if you lack manga drawing skills with TensorArt, you can still create exemplary manga pieces. Coming up is an exciting feature IP adapter. How will it change your experience? Let's discover the answer together. Hello Tensorians! Today, I'd like to introduce you to a magical control net in TensorArt called IP Adapter. With this control net, you can transfer the artistic style from one image to another. The resulting image maintains a high degree of similarity to the control image you upload, just like this. If you're interested in trying out IP Adapter yourself, don't miss out on this video! How to use IP Adapter Step 1. Open the TensorArt official website and enter Classic Mode. Step 2. Under TXT2 IMG Mode, click Add Control Net and select IP Adapter. Step 3. Different basic models will display different interfaces. For SDXL, you need to upload both the original image and the control image. For SD 1.5, only the control image needs to be uploaded. Here, we'll demonstrate using SDXL as an example. Step 4. Upload the original image whose style you want to change in the original image section. Upload the image whose style you want to adopt in the control image section. Step 5. Adjust the weighting parameters and control step. By default, it's usually set to 1, where a higher number means higher weight. Here, we show the style transformed image. Adjusting the parameters to 2 results in a significant style change, while adjusting to 0.5 results in minimal change from the original image. Step 6. Describe briefly in the prompt section the image you wish to generate, which helps in aligning the generated image with your expectations. Step 7. Click Generate and wait for TensorArt to perform its magical image fusion. That's the specific usage method of IP Adapter, allowing you to blend the style of image B into image A. Pretty amazing, right? In actual usage, you can combine IP Adapter with other control nets, such as adding depth or canning to control the basic outline of the original image, making the generated image even more aligned with your expectations. We've already seen many outstanding features. Now let's look at Control Net Recolor, what's special about it? Join me in the exploration. Hello Tensorians! How would you go about replacing a specific area of an image with another color while achieving a very natural effect? For example, in this photo, if you want to change the color of the girl's hair to rainbow, you can easily achieve this effect using the Recolor Control Net. In this video, we'll show you how to use Recolor. Stay tuned! How to use Recolor Step 1. Open the Tensor Art official website and enter Classic Mode. Step 2. Under the TXT2 IMG mode, click Add Control Net and select Recolor. Step 3. Please note that to use Recolor, you need to use the SDXL checkpoint. It will not work with SD 1.5. Step 4. Upload the original image whose color you want to change in the original image section. Step 5. You can adjust the weighting parameters and control step. By default, it's set to 1. The higher the number, the higher the weight. Here, we'll show the image transformation. Adjusting the parameters to 2 results in a more significant change, while adjusting to 0.5 may lead to inaccurate coloring effects. Step 6. Describe the part of the image you want to change the color of in the prompt section. This helps generate an image that meets your expectations. 
Step 7. Click Generate and wait for TensorArt to replace the color for you. That's the specific usage method of recolor. It can easily replace a part of an image with another color naturally. Isn't it amazing? In actual use, you can replace multiple specific areas, such as hair, clothes, background, etc. You can also adjust the entire tone of the image directly, just like this. In the previous video, we introduced how to use IP adapter. If you want to adjust the color of the image while changing its style, try emphasizing the color in the prompts. It will also yield good results. You can also experiment with different combinations of control nets. You might discover unexpected effects waiting for you. If you want to share your creations on TensorArt, feel free to do so. Your work will be seen by more people and may even be selected as an excellent piece to be showcased on our official media platforms. As we approach the end, our journey of discovery is not yet complete. The next feature control net revision awaits our exploration. Let's move forward. Hello Tensorians! Today, we're continuing to introduce an interesting control net tool. This control net tool is called Revision, which can generate images highly similar to a given image. When you encounter complex compositions that are difficult to describe with prompts but still wish to obtain an image with a similar style, you can choose to use Revision to get satisfying results. How to use Revision Step 1. Open the TensorArt official website and enter the classic working mode. Step 2. In the TXT2 IMG mode, click Add Control Net and select Revision. It's important to note that only the basic models of the SDXL class can support the use of Revision. Step 3. You can choose from two preprocessors, Revision underscore Clip Vision requires prompts and Revision underscore Ignore underscore Prompt does not. Choosing the former allows you to use prompts to further control the accuracy of the generated images. The latter does not require prompts and automatically ignores them during processing, only referring to the input image for guidance. Step 4. Upload the original image and click Confirm after uploading. Step 5. You can adjust the weight parameters and control step. Usually, the default is 1, which usually produces satisfactory results. Step 6. If using revision underscore clip vision, you can input prompts for more accurate results. If choosing revision underscore ignore underscore prompt, you can input anything as prompts, which will not affect the results. Step 7. Click generate and wait for TensorArt to generate the desired image for you. That's how you specifically use revision, enabling computers to understand images and generate images that perfectly reproduce the original composition and style. Tips 1. During actual usage, if you choose revision underscore clip vision, you need to input prompts to influence image processing. Therefore, we suggest using abstract prompts to obtain corresponding prompts for images and then input them into the prompt box for generation, which will yield better results. 2. Additionally, you can combine revision with other control nets, such as using canning to control the original image's contour edges, making the resulting image more accurate. Finally, we have explored 10 fantastic features together. I hope this journey has been enlightening and helpful for you. Thank you for joining me, and I look forward to our next adventure. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Your support means a lot to us. See you in the next video.